mute us. Hello, my name's Robbie Steinhaus. Hello, my name is Nick Pagias. And together, we're going to present a deeper dive into leadership archetypes, transforming shame into success. So a little bit of background. Um, I started as an entrepreneur, built up a business. 20 years ago, I started getting coaching, became a coach, learned a bit about NLP and wrote a few books along the way as I set up NLP school. And then about 12 years ago, I joined the faculty at NLP University in Santa Cruz. And I worked with Robert Diltz and Judith Delosia, presenting NLP there and all over the place and in London. Nick. Yes, uh, I'm a lecturer now in criminal psychology, many years, almost 20 years in NLP, in corporate world and in psychotherapy and psychoanalysis. And uh, I have the pleasure to be with you and create that beautiful thing. So archetypes for me, I'm going to talk mainly about this um, thing with uh, my book, Mindful Business Leadership, which is a group of archetypes I've created, which are sort of energies within the individual. Above that group of archetypes is the idea of a meta position or a conductor, uh, where you become aware of the energies within yourself. And then the idea of a superconductor, where you in unconsciously become aware of the energies within your organization. Giving us a personal example about the shame, I find it hard to, I would say, call myself conflict avoidant. So when I express myself and I want to be assertive, it tends to come across as a bit of a shadow aggression. The easier call for me would be to be, um, if you like, manipulative. So I might go to that, but that's also a shadow. So sometimes I have to be aware that I need to play to my weakness, is learn to assert myself but in a grounded way. So that's an example of archetypes. Nick. Taking the contactor as a third and super contactor as a fourth position, uh, I will uh, say that ideas are realizing to thought. Thought are form in imagination and imagination is expressed into form. This is what we have here, that the ideas of fire, because we are talking now about the four elements, are made visible as thoughts reflected in water. The thoughts in water take on, it, on a detail and greater reality in the imagination of the air. The detail imagination of the air are constructed into solid form by the earth. And I will give an example. I have the passion now to do something in my work and in my uh, department. So I need my thoughts to reflect in water in a little bit emotionally and not, not just passionately. And then I will take them for the water up in the air to create and then to bring them down and create a solid form. Great, lovely. Well, looking forward to seeing you. Looking forward to seeing you too.